Go Theory is a theory developed by Robert House, and according to this theory, leaders' behavior is contingent upon the satisfaction, motivation, and performance of their subordinates. House argued that the goal of the leader is to help followers identify their personal or individual goals as well as understand the organization's goals and find path that will best help them achieve both. Because individuals' motivations and goals differ, leaders must modify their way of approach to fit the situation. The third path goal basically implies that effective leaders clarify followers' path to their work goals and make the journey easier by reducing the roadblocks. It is the job of the leader to provide the right information, support, or other resources necessary to achieve their goals. House said that the main role of the leader is to motivate his followers by first, increasing or clarifying group's personal benefits of striving for and reaching the group's goals. Second is clarifying and clearing paths to achieving group's goals. House's theory match ways of behaving to the sets of circumstances. The circumstances in path goal theory is driven by two characteristics, the workplace characteristics and the followers characteristics. For the followers characteristics, it includes first, what they believe about their ability. Do they feel they are capable of fulfilling the task well? Second, where control resides. Do group members believe they have control over the way they approach the task and the chances of achieving the goal? Or do they see themselves as being controlled by other people and outside events? And last for the followers characteristic is the attitude and power and those in power. Do members want to be told what to do and how to do it or not? And what do they think of those in the organizations with official power than they do, especially the leader? For the workplace characteristics, it includes first, the kind of task. Is it repetitive? Is it uninteresting? Is it predictable or structured? Second, leader's formal authority. Is it well-defined? And lastly, for the workplace characteristic is the group cohesion. Do those people working in group feel a sense of unity? Now, with those two characteristics or two external dimensions, houses match them with four leadership styles. And note that the good leaders switch fluidly between them as the situation demands. Houses' leadership includes four styles of behavior. First is the directive where a leader clarifies the path to the goal by giving clear direction and guidance on goals, tasks, and performance standards. In this behavior, the leader clearly defines what is expected from them or what is expected of the followers and tells them how to perform the task. Second leadership style is supportive, puts more emphasis on improving the working atmosphere and safeguarding the followers' welfare. The main role of the leader is to be responsive on the emotional and psychological needs of the followers and reduces or removes effects on the emotional obstacle on the path to the goal. This behavior is especially needed in situations in which tasks or relationships are phys physically and psychologically distressing. The third leadership style is the participative. The leader consults followers on decisions concerning goals and methods and genuinely takes account of followers' opinions and ideas. In this behavior, the leader seeks to collaborate with the followers and involve them in the decision-making process. This behavior is dominant when subordinates are highly and personally involved in their work. The last leadership style is the achievement-oriented. This leadership style is based on encouraging followers to achieve personally astounding results. In this leadership style, the followers trust and respect the leader and draw personal motivation and increase their confidence from the leader's belief that the individual can perform and achieve the demanding aims and targets. So basically, this style is based on uh, the leader giving the followers a task and motivates and encourages them that they can perform the task well. To sum up, the path goal model emphasizes on the importance of the leader's ability to interpret the followers' needs accurately and to respond flexibility to the requirements of the situation. Moreover, 
this theory assumes that leaders are flexible, that they can change their leadership style as situation demands or require. The path goal theory is a situational or contingency model that in addition to changing leadership styles to given situations, also advocate, advocates changing leadership style to changing situations.